It says, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged. Now, what, why are the nations angry? Because they put partook in Esau's way of thinking, and they seen it's not effective for living their life. They seen that they 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 getting the short end of the stick just like we getting it. See, they they their problem is not that the fact that they that we're taking the loss, because they don't mind us taking the loss. All these other nations don't mind you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans being on the bottom. See, what, they, what they're what mad about is that they're being treated just like you being treated. Because so, they really believe that they're equal or close to the so-called white men. But they don't realize this judgment, this, this rulership, this is the last time any other nation outside the nation of Israel is going to rule on this planet Earth. See, you got, you, we've been so confused, you ch you chasing education. You so confused, you chasing um, stardom. You stay, you ch you chasing what? Vain glory. Instead of what? Chasing these scriptures, chasing the wisdom now to understand the most high and being put in a position of rulership. That's what it's all about. It's about ruling over one people. Go ahead. Bring it up. Bring it up. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Because we was put to be on this earth. Yeah. So don't let no scientists tell you or, or no um, doomsday preppers tell you that, oh, this whole earth is going to be destroyed. The most high created to be inhabited. Now the question is, who's going to rule over this earth? Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And that's why all these other nations can, can come to America. Right? They come to America not because of the culture, not because of, of, of what really is because of what? The ability to make money. Opportunity. Opportunity, which is the financial. Because if, if they could, they'd rather be amongst their own people. You know what I'm saying? But the but the opportunity to, to increase your wealth, the illusion of it was given to America. Because everybody don't come up, up here and, and live the American dream. You got people who come here and suffer worse than they were suffering in their own country. You know what I'm saying? So they come over here for that for an opportunity. Yeah. That's America's golden cup. Because everybody heard the rumors and stories. Yeah. And when somebody tell you a story, you put your own imagination to it. Yeah. So they tell you one thing and you imagine it, so you think this place is a, is, is a, glamorous. Is a glamorous place. Mm -hmm. So you come and realize that the streets ain't paved with gold, there's dirt all over the place, there's shit all over the place, the people's minds is corrupt, polluted. polluted. And that's because of what? The person that's a rulership. Get that in Ecclesiastes. Where it says um, about the, as the officer souls the people. Come on, come on. I got the earth from my Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse um, 9 sorry 4 one generation passes away and another generation cometh but the earth abideth forever there's a new movie it's on Netflix with, with uh, DiCaprio yeah called, did you watch uh, the whole thing don't look up, don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. and at the end you remember what happened at the end right yeah. they it really it was nuclear fire it was yeah. nuclear missiles that rained on, on on America right. and destroy everybody. Before the fire came, he was sitting at the dinner table and when he looked right. at the camera, mm -hmm. he said, we had it all. Mm -hmm. Who is he talking about? We had it all. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 10. I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. So the reason the, the people's minds the way it, it, it is, is from the education system of America. They're not teaching you to get closer to God. Everybody's taught to get closer to themselves. All right, everybody's taught to, to glamorize themselves or to deify themselves. Yeah. Get that in Timothy. It says men should be lovers of themselves. That, yeah. This world we live in is, is, a, is a perfect example of that scripture. People are, are more concerned with what themselves. Instead of the judgment that God is about to bring on this place. And why is, why is God bringing judgment? Go ahead. No, it also says that when the wicked are multiplied, transgression, transgression increases. Increase That's right. You know? So That's right. And let you know who's, who's in power. Who's in power. You know? It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. So if people didn't get the memo, the wicked is a so-called white man. Now you have wicked amongst our people. Like the scripture says, amongst my people is found wicked men. But the ones that is, is the root and the cause of all this corruption on the earth is the so-called white man. Because he don't promote, he, he has the power to promote the most high. He has the power to put the laws of his world in, in, in congruence with the Bible, all right? You can take all his penal codes away and start applying all these laws to these scriptures. You see how fast this world changed. But no, his job is to what? Promote wickedness. 
His job is what? To corrupt the earth. So if you want to raise your children in a corrupt world, you have to be afraid of sending your kids out to play. All right, leaving them in the playground, just being kids, and some some creep coming and doing something, or, or somebody's having a drive-by shooting, and they losing their life. But that's what you, you get living in this world and living under rulership of the so-called white man. And our job is to blame him. Our job is to point him out. Our job is to tell you, the ruler of the city is such on all they that dwell therein. So the man of men, the ruler of the city is such as is going. To be the people that live in it. So why do you see all this confusion in America? Because there are no shots. Yeah. That's what everybody's concerned with, being pleased. But then when God's judgment comes, everybody's gonna be looking for his mercy. That was it on that? No, that's a little boy. It says, and so the reason that mm -hmm. this world is the way it is is because of the so-called white man. The reason why you got faggots, lesbians, okay. transgenders, Men, men just acting effeminate is because of the so-called white man. That's the reason this world is the way it is. From from America to the, to Asia to 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 um, Africa. Africa to Europe, this whole world is fucked up because of the so-called white man. That's right. This whole world is fucked up because of him. I'll tell you that in the Maccabees, when when the uh, when these devils came into power, that wickedness was multiplied on the earth. Yeah, man. yeah, that's right. Wickedness was multiplied on the earth. It says. So who spreads wickedness? The so-called white man, man. It says, Our people forgot who the devil is. They look at each other like they're their enemies, man. Yeah. You see if somebody look like you, hair grows like you, eat the same food as you, and you'll be standoffish towards them. Because you was taught, you was taught to, to hate each other. You was taught to hate yourself. When the scripture says love that neighbor as yourself, a lot of you niggas don't love yourself. So how can you show your neighbor love? Right. And your self-hatred comes from what? Your image being shamed. Because of the so-called white man. Go ahead. Yep. It says, an unwise king destroyed his people. An unwise king destroyed his people. See, Esau, Edom, they're not the, they, they rule over us, but they're not our kings. The question is, the top elites is shitting on you regular white people too. It says, uh, uh, it says what? It says, an unwise king destroyed his people. An unwise king destroyed his people. Things that was set up to destroy our people, guess what? It's destroying white people also. You got drug addict white people, all right? You got you got opioid epidemic. It's an epidemic, and the only reason they're speaking about the epidemic is because it's affecting them. It's suffering. It's suffering. If it was a whole bunch of black and Latino kids hooked on fucking opium and dying by the thousands, all right, they will take that as a disgrace towards our, our nation. Well, that's just an isolated situation with dealing with the so-called white man. But it's because who? Who's spreading the wickedness? It all goes back to Edom, man. Everything, everything that's wrong with this world goes back to the so-called white man, the nation of Edom. Go ahead. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. So when the kingdom of heaven is established and the, and the law, statute, and commandments is put on this earth, how do you think the, the inhabitants of the earth is going to be? Now, these other nations, they're still going to be susceptible to corruption. It's, they, it's always going to be like that because the... The new covenant is the changing of the nation of Israel. Right. That's the new covenant given, put in the law, statute, commandments in their inward parts. Right. But as for these other nations, they're going to be under the strict, strict rule of the law, but they're still going to be corrupt. That's right. But our, our job is to, to be what? Enforce the laws. Right. Put people over them to enforce the laws. Because they're still going to have their, their little dignitaries and their little captains over 50s, captains over hundreds and thousands, that nobles of their people, and we're going to we gonna set them up, just like how Esau sets up puppet leaders throughout the world, yeah. but what they're going to establish, they're going to establish the law, statute, commandments of the scriptures. Right. This is, real quick. This is, uh, this is Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right, so when they have their think tanks, they're not thinking about how can we make people more productive in society? How can we make nope. people more righteous? How can we make people get closer to the only God, the God of the Bible? Nope. So when they sitting there, they're not thinking about how to better and better people's lives. They're thinking right. about how to enslave you. They're thinking about how to take the rest of the freedoms that you think you have, take that away from you. That's true. That's what it's about. They work in iniquity or upon upon their back. How can we exterminate the majority of the people's uh, majority yeah. of the population on this earth? Yeah. Population control. This this whole homosexual movement is not for liberation. It's for fucking population control, man. Yeah. Absolutely. 
about to the Georgia High School. Like the brother said, going back to the Georgia High School. That's what they do in their councils, man. At least Jake, even when we were uh, not close to the Heavenly Father, when you go back to the Nicene Council, it was Israelites that were trying to sort out things in the Bible ignorantly. They, they didn't really know what they were talking about, but they were speaking up against, you know, righteous acts, man. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to decipher the words of the Heavenly Father, man. These devils, when they come together, all they want to plot is wickedness, man. And evil. All these customs that you keep, like so-called Easter, that just passed. We're just really talking about the Passover. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That came up during uh, the Nicene Council, so on and so forth. Right. Go ahead. Oh, get that um, they meet, they meet um, they grope in darkness at noonday. Job, such yeah, that. I got a little more. Oh yeah, finish it. It says, when the morning is light, they practice it. So when the morning is light, what what are they practicing? They, they plans that they was conjuring up the night before, and the plans is to restrict you people. People are, are like clueless to what's really happening in this world today. We we in a, we in a basically the middle stages of World War Three because what. Because the, the situation with Ukraine didn't just start fucking 30 days ago when Russia in, in, in invaded Ukraine. Exactly. This has been going on for years. This back and forth, even the, the chick on the, on, the, on the site, she said they've been at war. Right. Now it's just, they just making it obvious. We're, we're, we're in World War III, man. That's why when you read the scriptures and Re Revelation 9 and talk about the nuclear missiles, Russia's one of the main countries that's going to help fulfill that prophecy. Which is a nuclear destruction of America, man. So people, you looking for for what? You supposed to be looking for a salvation, man. That's it. How can you be saved from the fire raining down upon America? That's right, man. That's the only thing that's relevant right now. Go Therefore, ahead, knowing the terror of the law, we persuade men. That's right. Therefore, knowing the terror of the law, we persuade men to do what? To take heed to the to this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures, man. That's what we persuading you for. Because your way of thinking and the way this world is set up is going to lead to your destruction. It reads, uh, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Because they, they have the rulership. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So in the morning, when it is light, when right. the sun's come, coming up, you got people busting out their push-ups. Some people making a green drink. Some people frying up some bacon. When what they doing? They bringing they they wicked devices to pass, man. Bringing forth new legislation. New, new legislation. It's not from the freedom of the people. America's the the biggest fraud when it comes to for liberation. Cause all you people are liberated, and all you do is wickedness every day, man. Yeah. All you do is evil. You think evil. You act evil. But yeah, everybody wants God's uh, mercy. But judgment is coming, man. America's gonna be wiped off the fucking place, man. Off the face of the earth. And the next kingdom is going to be ruled by so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Beginning who, who, they, who was crucified for our salvation, which is Yahweh Shah. The second coming is a, is, a, is a return of a so-called black man to bring judgment. To bring judgment, man. You could sigh at it. You could, you could <laughs> do all that. Yeah. And that's why the scriptures say, she that is my enemy. How many Edomite women pass by here? You know what I'm saying? Right. No, they, their biggest fear is to see a so-called black man in power. Because when uh, we get in power, they got to be in order. That's what they don't want to be. All that fucking freedom to get abroad and all that madness, that's going to be out the window, man. And they got to pay. Esau's biggest fear is the fact they got to pay. That's why everybody's going around, well, well, we all, uh, now all of a sudden we're a human race of people. We all equal. We all equal. No. But the most high, he deals with judgment. When you look at what happened to us in America, the Caribbean, um, Brazil, all throughout the planet, while people were sent and, and were oppressed and were taken over, that was God's judgment towards us. Right. A people that he clearly states throughout the whole scripture that he, he loves. Yeah. So how much more when the judgment comes for the people that he hates? Get um, um, Malachi, the first chapter. How much more the judgment, when the judgment comes for him, for the people that he hates? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Nahu. Chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. Right, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. The reason this place is still standing because the Most High is long-suffering. When you look up long-suffering, it means the Most High is patience. When the angels are coming back and forth and telling him all the corruption that's happening, you think it, it, it'll make him feel a certain way and say he's angry with the wicked every day. But he understands, I gotta, I spoke a word. 
And if I don't keep my word, how am I any different than the people that's down there? It says, it says, God is not the son of man that he should repent, nor the son of man that he should love. If you said it, it's going to happen. So he said it, so he said, no, I got to wait until my word comes to pass, and then I'm going to bring this place down. That's what it's about. It's about a new beginning. Everybody's tired of the way this fucking world is set up. Everybody's tired. So the, what does that mean? It's time for a change. That's why the scripture says that when the righteous are in authority, you know, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are, you know, the, the people mourn. The people mourn. So the people are mourning right now, man. So, a little more, a little, little more. It says, um, it says, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. So right here in this scripture, it says the Most High will not at all acquit the wicked. So now the question you got to ask, according to the Bible, who's the wicked? Job 9.24. You can't, you can't say that we, that that represents us because we have no control what takes place on this earth on a day-to-day -day basis. When the builder group bird, bird groups meet, when the when council for a relation, the world economic forum, all these different um, acronyms, when they meet together, you, do you really believe that somebody like us in there voicing their opinion? Like you had that a brother put it on the chat, that Indian dude you see all throughout YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's some big fucking time guru. Yeah, cool. And what did he say? He said, I'm with population control. Basically. He said, I'm with, I want less people on this earth. So whose agenda that he's fulfilling? His job is to push that false philosophy out there to corrupt people. Put people to sleep. Because if they talk all this shit, you would, you would thought the dude would have raised somebody for them dead by now. Exactly. You would thought they did something significant and powerful that you could be like, yo, the same way your house shot did. Your house shot wasn't just all talk. He showed and proved. Right. That he that he was a son of Yahweh by Shimei with power. Right. But these people they got all this um, understanding, all this philosophy, but they can't fix the way the world is because they they they're not concerned with fixing the world. They're concerned of ruling over all the people. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon twelve and twenty two. Therefore, whereas thou didst chasten us, thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more. Our chastisement was slavery. Gad being taken over, Reuben being taken over, Issachar being taken over, Judah being brought over here, Benjamin being brought to the island, Levi being brought to, to, to Haiti, the Dominicans first getting shitted on by Columbus. That was the Lord's Lord chastising us. Right. And he told us that generation before, look, I'm, this is what I'm gonna do to you in, in the future tense. And what our people's like, yeah, whatever to the prophet. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever, we're gonna do what we gotta do. But then another lifetime will come and the judgment just come and takes you over. That's why this shit, this shit is the way it is for our people, man. Our people gotta realize is, is God the one pushing your butt? Is God the one that's oppressing you? Is God that's making these, these Edomites pull you over and, and, and shoot you? And they choose, like, when they deal with the cop shootings, they choose to show you on the black people. You, you know how much Latinos clap by the cops? How much Native Americans is, is smoked by the cops? But they 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 playing them on the black and white race issue, and they put in that they put they selectively put stuff out there, because if you knew the extent of the shootings that take place in America, with the I'm talking about amongst the twelve tribes, there should be fucking chaos in America, because our people are being targeted. Go ahead. Go on. Yeah, it reads on. Therefore, therefore, whereas thou didst cast in us. Thou scourgeth our enemies a thousand times more. So they, that's why it says, do unto them double. Wait for So if what happened to us was 500, all right? If he, most high hit us, okay, I'm going to give him half. I'm going to give him, you know what I'm saying? When our enemies, he's going to do, he's going to scourge you a thousand times more. He's going to give you double what yeah. we receive, man. Yeah. You're going to have to suffer slavery, a word that's taboo now in America. But guess what? Slavery is ordained by God. That's and right. slavery is coming back in a big way. In a big way. And the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have these other nations as slaves. It's a fact of the matter. It's a fact of the matter, man. Who you, get that in Isaiah 60. Who you think is going to build that kingdom up? But in order for our kingdom to come, in order for us to be free from this, what has to happen to the setup that we're in right now? It has to be destroyed. That's right. Get that in Revelation when it says, um, Yahweh he's put many crowns upon his heads. I got you. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 
six. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Right, so people thought all the things that's taking place and happened to us was because the Most High completely turned his back upon us. It says that he chastened those that he loved. So what was hap what happened to us in the last 500 years was correction. It was correction. That's why the Lord said, well, he will go and return to his place until you acknowledge your offense. See, our people don't realize every day you live, you violating God. Yeah. Every day you live. You putting God second, you putting your own bullshit first. But when the destruction comes, you're going to want the most high to put you first. Yeah. Go ahead. The scriptures say that God is not at all in their thoughts. Right. You know? At and that, all. And we could apply that to Esau, definitely. We know no Edomite thinks about the most high, but you got Israelites is the same exact way. Yeah. yeah. You got Jake that's atheist. Yeah. You got Jake that, that that's into all type of different the, philosophies the, and, and whatnot. The yeah, bag, you know? the bag is it got. As long yeah. as they get that bag. Man, man. Man. Hey, what that nigga Jaheem said, put put that woman put first. Put yeah, the yeah. woman yeah. first. But that nigga, you yeah. should, should look at look at his state now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sing about putting Old the boy coming, first. he got he got a Virgin Mary yeah. on his chest. Yeah. Yeah. You see Will Smith fucking bowing down yeah. with praying hands in front of some Hindu god. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because he's sold out. He's not coming to the, the to the brothers you see on the highways and byways so to find out how to get back to the most high. Mm -hmm. He's going to the other nations. So it says, this is the only thing you got to listen to. Go ahead. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but this, because you moved the Most High to wrath. So the Most High puts us in slavery temporarily. The Most High did as much evil because we, we committed heinous acts in his sight. And the punishment for committing these heinous acts was captivity, man. What's the ghettos? What's the, the barrios? All right, all these our people living in third world conditions. That's the judgment of what going against the covenant that we, we was established between our forefathers and the Most High. Yeah. But through Yahweh Shai's blood, the shedding of His blood, what do we have now? We have a what it calls a reconciliation. Now the Most High said, okay, now the pathway, the door is open for, for me to for you to get my attention. And the only way you're gonna get the Most High's attention is by coming through Yahweh Shai. Come and get that into you at the straight gate. What we doing is a straight gate. It ain't glamorous. All right, we don't got these um, Krypton garments like um, Nate. There's one video, <laughs> this shit was so dope. I'm like, yo, this shit like he just came home from, from heaven, bro. But sorry, they bro. glory and shit like that. Yeah. We, the shit is dope, but guess what? The scriptures say that one is a, gen, a Jew inwardly, man. Yeah. The most high look for truth in, in the inner man. All that outward appearance on me shit to the Lord. That's where your heart is at. So they got they got the form of godliness. That's why people would That's rather go to them than to come to us. They come and look at us. You niggas can't be wise. Look, look, look at you niggas, man. There's no way y'all niggas is wise. Look at look at look how good they're doing. Like the scripture said that gain is godliness. Supposing that gain is godliness. But we we growing in a way that you can't see physically. We growing spiritually, man. And it takes a spiritual person to see what we're doing is spiritual. Quick, 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 the same way, the same way how they looked at John the Baptist, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You know, John the Baptist, he didn't, he didn't come in in king's robes and he came camel, camel heads. That's right. You know, eating locusts in the, in the, in the, in the forest, man. They said he had a you devil. They say he, had he, a yeah, devil. they say he had a devil on him. Well, Yahweh Shah came, Yahweh Shah came eating and drinking, you know, and drinking, yeah. regularly dressed. And guess what? They said he had a devil. Right. So the point is, you can't please these Israelites, man. That's right. You can't please the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? Because they they don't want to come back to the Heavenly Father. That's just the, the fact of the matter. That's right. This is James 2 and 1. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Masiyah, the Lord of glory, with respect to persons. For if there come unto you assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, sit thou here in a good place. And that's the typical inner city. Not yeah. just the inner city, all these people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you go to any neighborhood, whoever's dressed the best, people gonna give them the most admiration. Yeah. You come dressed regular, you know what I'm saying? It could be clean. You got clean clothes on, right. but it, it's, it's not high priced clothing. Right. People gonna look down upon you, all right? People go, you come there and be like, yo, my man, step Step off to the side. That's what the scripture's talking about. But the person with the good clothes, yo, come here. You here.
Here, here's some food, here's that. You're going to take care, you're going to cater to that person. Which is a respect that person. Because you, you're not looking how the Most High will look at somebody. Because right. the Most High don't look at, Most High is not impressed with your, what he said, the scripture you always bring out. He's not pleased with, 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 um, the, with legs the legs of, of a man. The Most High is not impressed with your features and, or, and, and your social status. Right. He's impressed with, if this, does this man have the capacity to do what I tell him to do? Yeah, right. The integrity to do what I tell him to do. Right. I say this is what has to be done. Is he going to follow what I have to say? Right. And the majority of people fall short of that, man. That's why you have a remnant. Because the remnant says they were what? Would not do a nickel. So the remnant is going to do what? That remnant is going to set the, the stage for the rest of the, the nation to come back in the reincarnation. That's right. Ahead, Finish boy. that up. It says, you were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because you moved the most hard of wrath. So how do we move, move, move the most high to wrath? Committing adultery, all right, murdering. When you, when you read the scriptures, and you gotta set the stages, you gotta set the scenery in, in, your, in your imagination. You gotta really envision what, you, what you're reading. Because if, if not, it, it becomes confused. It's the same people that you see here, all right? It's the same people you see here. What do you read We read from the Holy Bible. All right, it's okay though. There you go. You like she said, she don't deal with the Holy Bible. It's cool. There you go. You had people back then who didn't deal with the scriptures, deal with the Most High. But when you set the image in your mind, it's the same people, the same way you see these niggas acting now. It's the same spirits, the same people, but they just dress different. Yeah. They're just speaking a different language. Yeah, they're out scheming, committing adultery, they're out there in, 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 the, in the crevices of robbing people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Extor There's a lot of extortion that took place in ancient Israel. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, corruption that you see happening now that was taking place back then and that's why we was put into captivity that's how you that's how you move the most high to anger by your actions towards each other and towards his worship because that's what the law falls on right how you serve the most high and how you deal with your fellow fellow men as Yahusha said these two rest the whole law it's clearly our people don't know how to worship the most high because that chick that just walked by she said oh I was what y'all what y'all reading from oh the holy bible oh no I don't I don't protest with the Holy Bible yeah. and walked off but it's cool it's not meant for it really when you read the scriptures this book is really for the remnant yeah because having the book is not power it's understanding the book that's right is where the power is at you got plenty of people who have this book in that's their right. possession but they had the, do not have the understanding yeah so how is it pertaining to you right the, this book only pertains to the people that understand it which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Get that? It says no man can learn that song oh. except 144 dollars. That's right. It's not personal, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. <laughs> it ain't, you did something in particular, the Most High just didn't choose you. He did, yeah. And he chose certain people to get this, you know? Just like if we go into, if for some reason we go into some A-list party, yeah. what are the chances of us getting it? Hell no. Like we gonna walk in there, the list. they're gonna look at you like, you know, my man. Yeah. Except what? Same yeah. way the most high got his his list. Got his list. Right? He got his what well, get that bid, bid them to the marriage. Gotcha. So when the marriage happens, when the, the joint together comes, everybody ain't invited. Yeah, only a select few. Only a select few, which is the elect. Preach up real quick. Matthews 13 and 9. It reads, Who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? A par another name for a parable is a dark saying, is a riddle. Or allegory, you take you take you take truth or information and you encode it with, with symbolism, and only certain people could to grasp understand who you tell the the, the, the parable to. Right. That's why when Samson gave the parable, he said, "You would have not known unless you you have plowed my heifer." The same way the parables that your house I was speaking, the disciples had not a clue what he was speaking about, man. Right? That's why, in, in in hindsight, he would go what he would explain it to them, what he was talking about. Go ahead. It reads, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So everybody watching these videos, everybody that's supporting the truth, and you understand what we're saying, is given unto you. Yep. It's given unto you to know this, this, these are mysteries that we're speaking. That 2,000 years ago, you would have blew somebody's mind if you would have been able to interpret that to them what, what, what's happening now. 
But it wasn't meant to be interpreted back then. It was meant to be interpreted now. And people don't appreciate it because why? You got all this technology. Yeah. You got all this glamour and glitz. Distraction. Distraction. So what we say don't has no real power or value to you. you know, until the simplicity. Yeah. You get that scripture that says, as um, serpent begot Eve, about the simplicity in your house shop. But you know when it's gonna, um, when you when this word is gonna have value, and get that in, in James. It says a word not being mixed with faith, because right. it ain't profit. You know when the value's gonna come? When you, you hear on the news, all these different food processes and plants being, being, being what? Being torched, all right? All, all the food processes and plants being torched, man. The bird flu, right? You got this new pandemic that says it could be transferred to you. A lot of killing of poultry. All these, all these things is do is what? All these things is for what? The famine. You have a physical famine, all right? The, the scarcity of food, and you have the famine of the word. The scarcity of hearing the word. Get that Amos eight two. Go ahead. See, Jake is all over the fucking place. This is a cesspool. Song, nobody can hear. Right. All right. This is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. So what does that represent? The only ones that can get the understanding of the scriptures and how it pertains to prophecy this time now is the elect. That's right. That's the only one who could get the understanding. When it says no man can learn that song, but but the hundred and forty and four thousand. So the hundred and forty-four thousand have the understanding, and you have. Go ahead. Which were redeemed from the earth? Which was what? Which Rede was redeemed, redeemed from the earth? Now what is it talking about being redeemed from this earth? It's talking about being saved from the nuclear destruction. That's what it's talking about being saved from when America is destroyed by a nuclear fire. And why, and why is America going to be destroyed by fire? Because you got a whole bunch of uh, ab abominations happening, man. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of abominations happening out here. Lawlessness. You, you people, you abide by the white man's law, but you don't abide by God's law. Because God's laws don't mean shit, right? We're going to see if the white man saves you when, the, when, when it's time for the Lord to destroy this place, man. Yeah, Go ahead. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. It says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy. So the Lord have a controversy with those of the land because there's no truth and no mercy. Growing up in the inner city, what did they promote? Being ruthless, right? Ha have, having no, no, no compassion towards your, your fellow brother. But you notice it never translates to these other nations, the, the heartlessness that these niggas have towards each other. And never, and never translate to these other nations. Not telling you to go out there and physically do nothing to no other nation, all right? But you treating each other like y'all, y'all, worst enemies. Like the reason you're in the position you are is because of each other. It's a system, a racist system, that's set up to oppress you. Go ahead. It says because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High. So it's talking about amongst our people. There's no truth. There's no mercy or no knowledge of the Lord in the land. To know the Lord is to know what he requires of you. That's to know what what do, what do you want from me? He set this world up, he gave, look, when the Most High created everything, he didn't create for himself, he created Israel, Yahweh Shai and Israel for himself. But all you see under the sun was created for you people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Get that in, in Ezra. Yeah, I got you. It was all made for your sake. So if the Lord went, do all the trouble create all this for your pleasure, for your paradise on this earth. Right. One of the questions like, what, what do you want from me? Would what can I give in return? I, right. Obviously, you can never match no. him for, for what he's doing for us. Right. But so the common sense was like, well, Lord, I know I can never repay you fully, but what, what should, can what, I what can I do? What do you require of me in, in order to inherit all this? When you read the scripture, it says that the meek shall ha inherit the earth. Right. Now you just, I ain't talking about any old body. The meek represents the nation of Israel. The precept. Go ahead. This is uh, the answer to the question. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. So let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter, because when you read the whole Ecclesiastes, Solomon was going through his research, searching madness, folly, laughter, everything. 
the right hand, left hand, and after the end, all right, he's giving his conclusion, right? He's giving his his last statements. He said, this, this, after all that experience on this earth, hey, yeah. it's all bullshit. Right. It's all bullshit. It all leads you to be vexed. That's right. So the only conclusion we have is what? To serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. That's right. It says, uh, let us hear the conclusion, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. I command you to do this on this earth. So that's all it, that's all it boils down to you being on earth. In order for you to enjoy rulership in paradise, it's the first what? Do right by the Lord. Which in this world, it, bec it becomes it's a taboo now. Right. Now it's about being, now our people are straight up on demon time. They're not hiding it no more. Literally. They're just saying straight up, look, we're we on, we on the devil time. Yeah. But it's all right. Remember, two thirds, two parts have to be caught up in God. Right. I got two. There's the Israel of the Most High. So if, if this uh, Israel of the Most High, then what's the rest of the Israelites? They're not of the Most High. They're Israel of, of Satan, man. That's why you, you, you divide two thirds, it's what? 66.6%. .6 all right and so on and so on yeah. that's what that number represents right. Go ahead. this is more. for this is the whole duty of men for this is the whole duty of men now did you have to go to a hindu guru all right with, with a fucking turban wrapped around his head yeah, man, so to, to, to right to give you that information is right there there, there goes the meaning of life you wasn't put here just to die and go back to heaven you was put here to enjoy him but because of adam's fall that brought what death to us because Adam never had a destination. Adam wasn't waiting to grow up to become a doctor. His job was what? To enjoy everything the Most High created on this earth. Right. That's what it, That's what you're here for. Right. You're here to enjoy the earth. The same way Esau could go to this part of the world, go to that part of the world. All right, go climb a mountain. All right, lay on, 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 on a man-made beach or a man-made island, do all these things. That's part of his rulership. So people gotta rethink this, this whole rapture thing, this whole kingdom of heaven thing. The kingdom of heaven is gonna be here on this earth. When you wanna have shit like this, man. They think that's powerful, but, but, but a chariot has much technology. A chariot had, it won't make a fucking sound. And they think that's that's masculinity, right? Just going around breaking your damn head. Yeah. That shit ain't nothing. You don't wanna have nonsense like that in the kingdom. The scripture said the whole earth is at rest. See what I'm saying? So what is the kingdom? What is the second coming? Is who the world ignorant called Jesus Christ come and establish, get that in, in, in um, Daniels. In the time of those people um, shall set up a kingdom yeah. and also it shall not be left to other people. Right. So the second coming is, is Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorant calls, calls Jesus Christ coming to establish a kingdom on this earth. A kingdom, you need what? You need people to have that kingdom. You need slaves to build the kingdom. Go ahead. This is the book of Daniel's chapter uh, 2, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the Most High set up... Salakit, And in the days of those kings shall the Most High of heaven, the power of heaven, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Right, and it says in the days of those kings, so we know every king that you, that you read about in Daniel is not still in rulership. Right. It's not like they're all gonna be ruling and then your house shall gonna come, no. We're still, we're still in the prophecy of the, one of the main ones rule. all right? The, the 10 toes, all right? Which is the last rulership of any heathen nation. So that's why I say in the days of those kings, because you still have, a part of that prophecy is still happening right now. Which is what the um the uh, okay. the part Myri clay, the ten toes part part um, iron, iron part, and part Myri clay. clay. All right. And you seen that right now. And you seen it right now. So that means what? Right, in the days of those kings, because this prophecy still happened. That kingdom hasn't been done away with yet. But Yahweh Shai is the one coming away to do away with that kingdom. Yeah. But it says it reads, and in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. All right, so now all you people in the churches, how would you in in interpret this scripture? Exactly. In the days of the king, the Most High is gonna set up a kingdom. He's gonna set up a kingdom. It says heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. You already know heaven is his, is his domain. So where's this kingdom gonna be set up at? 
on the earth. It's gonna be set up right here on the earth. It tells you that. Shall reign with him a thousand years on the earth. Shall reign with him a thousand years on this earth. You want to heaven as So if you're on, on this earth, earth, that means you have to eat, you have to you drink, you have to sleep. Mm -hmm. You have to procreate. That's right. The cycle of death is only broken for the nation of Israel. You are the nation, you still gonna go through that cycle of life and death. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's right. That's right. Quick precept. So we're gonna get the glory that Adam has, but better. Because when Adam was enjoying it, he was enjoying it being naive. He wasn't complete. That's why evil was introduced. So he, so he could understand both spectrums. To be the ultimate God. To be the ultimate good. So that's why it says, well, you have become like as us, us yes. knowing good and evil. Yep. So now you can, you know the difference. We don't, we have plenty of practice in being fucking evil. Mm -hmm. Now we rehearsing the righteous acts, man. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Once again, Israel shall be saved in the Lord. See, what people get confused at is when they go into the New Testament, yeah. the word it changes. And the Most High did that deliberately. Right. He did that deliberately to what? Stumbling. To put a stumbling block. He, he could have, the Most High could have had that when you read about the Gentiles, it says straight up Jews that were foreign to the land of Israel. Right. He could have had it written like that. Right. But he made sure when it was translated, you had two Gentiles, all right, which we know is two different types of Gentiles. You had the, the other nation, the natural Gentiles, and you have Israelite for, foreigners. And the Lord did that for, for a reason. And, and right. we thank God, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for the fact that he gave us the blue, the, the, the blue Bible too, you know, so we can look at certain words. Right, the blue letter Bible. Get the definition, it. you know what I'm saying, that we can, all right, well, it's a difference. Yeah, yeah, the etymology, we can see the difference between the, the, the Israelite uh, foreigners and the, and the natural Gentiles, man. Yeah, that's right. You know? But it's, it's still, it's the Rakakwa Dash, it's the spirit. Yeah, it is, that's right. Because that's these right. theologians. Yeah, they be going off. Yeah, yeah they, 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 yeah, they, 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 they dig all into the uh, etymology mm -hmm. and they knew who created the word, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they still can't get the understanding yeah, of what the words off, mean. They go off a lot. They go off and, a lot. Yep, yep. It says, um, it says, ye shall not be shamed nor confounded world without end. Read it again. Come on. It says, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So who's who's Israel? Yeah. They ain't talking about the, them so them so called white people that you see walking around with with, with yarmulkes on their head. Yeah, All right, the people in the, and the false people in the land of Israel. Right. It's talking about you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The salvation and the salvation begins with the elect, man. That's right. And the, and the more you get fine tuned and polished in the truth, you realize what Solomon realized: nothing in this world matters. Right. Now we got your little some brothers watch sports, some brothers into music, some brothers play sports, which is cool. But we're not invested in these things, man. Yeah, right. These are things just to get your mind off of shit right, from right, time to time. Right. It's, a hobby. it's a hobby. So we know our true calling is what? These, these scriptures, man. A coming of a new kingdom. Mm -hmm. It says, says Oh, says, yeah, bro, yeah, go ahead. He, oh, yeah, you got more on that? Yeah, it says, Let him finish oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It says, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So we shall not be ashamed nor confounded. That's why no matter how much people come against us, come against the apostles throughout the years, come against Israel in general, you know Israel's still out here on the streets teaching. And the predominant one teaching is Great Millstone. See, you got them in the, in the different states that have a warmer weather, so they, they those is like IUIC, IUIC yeah. they, keep, they keep it rotating during the yeah. during all year round. Yeah. But when it comes to <laughs> what we at here, all right, we deal with all, all, all the elements all that elements. you see through the spirit and only because of the spirit. Because the Most High wants His Word to be pushed, man. Yeah. It says, well, your teachers shall not be removed into a corner yeah. anymore. That's right. That's right. Your eyes shall see your teachers. The reason that the truth is so heavy is because the Most High is behind you. He's a, it's not us. He's a, <laughs> your house shines a driving force behind this truth, man. That's why it's still, that's why it's still standing. What it said, this council be of men, it should come to naught. Go ahead. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 27, and it says, In the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given 
to the people of the saints of the Most read it, High. Read it again from the top. Daniel 7 and 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Read that one more time. Daniel 7 and 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom the under kingdom the, and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom. It says under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven. So it ain't going to be a partial like you only ruling in the east. Under the whole heaven, man. So that means it's on earth. It's on earth. It's under heaven. Yep. On earth. Go ahead. And it says shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Who, does, who are the saints of the most high? Psalm 50, it said, gather my saints together. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So who, who, who are the saints? Who are the only people on this earth? Biblically, that made a covenant, an agreement with the Most High to sacrifice. Is the nation of Israel. So the glory, the kingdom, and the greatness of the kingdom is for what? The saints, which are the nation of Israel, the Israelites. That's right. All right? Just because you got a bunch of fucking popes in a, in a room yeah. or, or archbishops yeah. and somebody passes away and they get together and say, you know what, we're going to make this person a saint because of all these so-called um, charity they did while they was on this earth. Right. That don't make you a saint. You got to be born a saint. That's right. You got to be born of that, that, that lineage, man, which is the lineage of Israel. Go ahead. It says whose kingdom because you could be for respect. all right man all right. you could be you could be from abraham that you incomplete you could be from isaac you incomplete you gotta come from jacob right because you got plenty of, uh, of of families that came from abraham came from um out of esau um isaac, isaac. all right because isaac had jacob and esau yeah. you have to come from jacob's line right. that's yeah. the completion of the promise right. man so you are the nations you ain't you ain't woke you got ishmael the six sons from Keturah, yeah. Esau, Edom himself. You excluded from the greatness of the kingdom, man. That's, right. That's why they working together. That's why you see, you think they so cool with the sheiks in, in, in um, Saudi Arabia. Absolutely. With the oil, because they working together. And they understand that everything we work is gonna be against these people. We gotta make sure it's against these people while we doing our dirt. Psalms 83. Psalms 83. Go ahead, bro. Y'all sit on that? Just a little more. It says, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom? Is America an everlasting kingdom? No. Look at Joe Biden. He represents a fallen empire, man. He called he called the Pope a great African American baseball player, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I bullshit you not. He's standing next to a friend of the Pope. He said, You know who you are? He said, Yo, you're a great African American baseball player. And the Pope says, I know. <laughs> and, the, and the lady just walks up, I'm like, yo, this this is the ruler? And and you people and you people. You really believe that th oh this man God. has the codes to, to the to the nuclear weapons? <laughs> yes. Now, if you oh believe God. that the president is the true commander in chief, he proves that they the president is not in control. That's right. All right. He's just up there. All right. Go talk to the people and make the people feel good. Yeah, that's right. Come on, man. That's proves what America's falling, man. America's finished, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, "Whose kingdom?" It's an everlasting kingdom. You notice when America was in its heyday, everybody wanted to be a cracker. Yeah. Now America's going down, everybody wants to be a nigga. Right. That's the, cause that's how it's truly supposed. Everybody's supposed to admire the nation of Israel. Right. And you see everything's coming full circle, circle. These white kids are becoming more and more like degenerates. All right? Hey, they, they might take care of this. Oh, sure. Yeah, take it easy, bro. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, right, right. he just, yeah, he just bugged right now. Yeah. And it says, it says whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, man. Huh? And what does that kingdom entail? We have to make it, that the scripture says, that when, when there's no vision, the people perish. Right. If the, prophet, if the prophet's given a vision, it means they actually saw something. Right. When the Lord spoke to the prophet, they didn't give him words. They actually seen visions, they seen visuals, and their job was to go what? Express the, the visuals to the people. And that's our job. So when we express the kingdom of heaven, you have to get in your mind that you're going to have white people in subjection. You can have white people out there picking cotton. White people out there picking um, sugar cane, planting vineyards, all right? Cleaning up your, 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 your animal shit. Planting, harvesting. That's going to be a job of the so-called white man these other nations. Landscaping. Landscaping. I was going to say, it's a trailer. 
We're giving you the trailer right. of what's about to come. The coming attraction. The coming attraction. Motion picture uh, uh, attraction. This is really going to happen. This is really going to happen. Just and like the rain descended from heaven during the time of Noah. They didn't believe it then. Noah was giving them a trailer. Water's going to come from the sky. They didn't believe it until it happened. And that's when you're going to be able to enjoy. What's it? They lived in rain with your house shot a thousand years. When you look up the word live, it means to, and, and to be fully animated, full of vitality. Well, what's another? What's the other thing it says? Oh, to enjoy real life. Because this ain't life right here, man. Right. Go ahead. Now, we're ready. Listen. And it says, all dominions shall serve and obey him. All dominions shall serve and obey him. Obey who? They're going to obey. He says, the wildlife is going to They all, they all. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's what I say in the third man. I even want to be looking at directions. But it says what? And all, all, read that again. It says, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. All, read that again. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. So all rulerships is gonna serve and obey who? Yahweh Shah. That's who the world ignorantly calls what? Jesus Christ, a false name, a mistranslation. And the most High allowed it to be like that because he didn't want, he wanted the confusion about his name. Right. Second Ezra is chapter one verse six. Because only certain people's worthy of, uh, to really believe in that name. Go ahead. Verse nine. How long? How long shall I forbear them, or to whom I have done so much good? So the Most High, what it says, he done planted a vineyard, he done hedged it off, he done hooked it up. Cast the nations out. Say that again. Cast the nations out. He cast the nations out. Look, I done did two way beyond what, what these people deserve. Yeah. What else what else is left for the Lord to do for you? And remember, they was more and mightier than we were. That's right. They was more in number, you know? So who the glory goes to? Did, did the nation of Israel go out there through their own power and conquer Canaan? No. Nah. Basically, well, by the time we got to Canaan, they, they put it in, like in today's term. Right. They say, somebody, Mike Tyson just fought a 13 round fucking fight. Yeah. And then somebody just comes up and knocks him out. Yeah. That motherfucker's already defeated. Oh, he right. just got pummeled in a, in a 13 round fight. Right. And then somebody else steps to him and knocks him out. Right. By the time we got to the land of um, Canaan, number one, it was fucking terrified. Yeah. When, when we had the heart, what she say? Don't you know the people heart felt because of you? Yeah. They was already weakened. The Most High sent angels in there before we got there. He sent what? He said wasps. He said four oh, runners, yeah. four runners of that host. So by the time we got there, like, they were already defeated. The plays already jacked them up. The so plays bad. already jacked them up. We just went in there and just yeah, pushed them over. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Just like right, they he fucked the wild men and just come and just <laughs> push them over and clean them up. It says, How long shall I forbear them unto whom I done so much good? That's why it says this time the most high is not gonna what it says, not by sword, if you know what the scripture says, not by bow. Meaning what? Our deliverance is not coming by no physical means. Yeah. Songs. So not by soul, not by boat, but by, by the mighty hand of the Lord. I'm finish this up. Yeah, finish that. It says, many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. Egypt, ancient Egypt is a, a historical event. Yeah. And the reason you people don't acknowledge, see they acknowledge Egypt but they won't acknowledge the Israel, Israelite part, portion of Egypt. Right, right, right. You never learned about Israelites in school. No. They teach you about Egypt, Tutankhamen, they teach pyramids. you about the pyramids. But they're convenient enough, they leave out a big portion of the history. Yeah. Why Egypt became the way it became great and why it was destroyed. You won't get that from them. Right. So this is the actual event that took place that the Most High did for his people. Oh, yeah. right. oh. Oh. Follow the ancient relics, mm -hmm. Pharaoh's chariots. In other words, every biblical event that took place, they found all the uh, all the architecture, man. The architecture, the archaeological things they done did. They just came out and said uh, the College of Yeshiva, mm -hmm. is where these kites go. They found relics of the Maccabees, like the uh, where, they, where the Maccabees described certain places. They, they found findings, man. So they keep on finding more validity of the Bible, man. Right. Esau's hoping 
Esau is hoping like hell he finds something in the Bible that's not true. You know what I'm saying? So he can discredit the Bible. Right. The elites of Edom truly know that the word of the Heavenly Father is all truth, man. This is the greatest truth on the planet. You know? And they know what's coming for them, man. It's a book of history. In order for them to tell a lie, they got to know the truth. That's right. right. You know? For them to be so... The scripture says they're wiser than Daniel. So they're, they're into all type of... You know, they, they can basically research, do, go through information, see certain things. You know, they have the, the money and the, and the resources to, to, to acquire certain things. You know, dig certain artifacts up. Yeah. You know? So, so they know a lot, man. It says... All the nations have I destroyed before. It says, all the nations have I destroyed before them. And when you read the scripture, that's why you have to read. The Most High is not concerned with the old of these other nations. He's not concerned with the young of these other nations. He's not concerned with the in-between with these other nations. He's only concerned with you people. I was just reading the numbers when they brought back the, 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 the kids. And Moses like, yo, what the fuck that you slay them. He said, what the, he said, yo. Now, take all the women that's, that's had intercourse with men, kill them. First, he said, take all the, the young men, the children, all right? The young Midianite boys. And Lord Moses said, look, first take them and kill them all. Then after that, take every woman that slept with a man and you kill them too. Because those are the same people that says the Balim caused the people to go whoring after. Because our people started what? They said, yo, come through, come chill with us. We, we do it, and a simple nigga, Yep. You say, fuck, let's go. Yes. And then what happened? They start bringing their guys out, and then what? You start bowing before your gods, man. And we'll say, what? Most high is not concerned with these fucking people, man. Yeah. And we're not supposed to be concerned with them. The right. same, see, we so fucked up. Our people looking for equality. Why don't you like me? Right. You want the nations to like you. Yeah. You're supposed to return the fucking hate that they're sending towards you, man. Right. Spiritually. That don't mean you physically go out there and, and start trouble with people. Right. Right. But the same way they hate you, you know I hate you the same way back. Right. All right? I'm not your friend. I don't want to be your, be your friend. Right. I don't want to walk down the aisle with your daughter. I don't want to do none of that. I want to see we get our justice. That's what we're waiting for. Right. Go ahead. It says, all nations have I destroyed before them. And in the east, I have scattered the people of two providence, even of Tari and Sidon. Which are my nations. And have slain all their enemies. And slain all our enemies, man. You go into the, to, cause I'm going through it now, going back into the land of Canaan. All right, you had the Lord tell Moses, all right, you gonna see the land, and before you die, I want you. I, I forgot which king they took down, cause Moses was part of some of them. Right. But just now, going into the land of Canaan, what happened on the um, east of Jordan? Right. Moses took part of that. I forgot which kings it was. I think. I'm not remember off top. So Moses witnessed that that king taken down and so on and so forth. To what? We went throughout all the land of Canaan expelling the inhabitants out of it, man. But this time, how's the most high gonna do it? He's just gonna destroy the land of Canaan, mm -hmm. which is the land of Israel. He's just yeah. gonna wipe everybody out of there. See, because when we went there, we went into fully built houses, all that shit in the ancient world. We were all, all, we went into fully established um kingdom. Yeah. But when the, when the new kingdom comes, new Jerusalem comes, it's going to be built back up from the ground up, from the foundation up. And we talking about it's going to happen, it's going to, it's going to take a, a, a good amount of time before the kingdom is fully built. All right, ain't going to be no seven years and all right, the kingdom has been finished. It's, it's going to take a long time. First and foremost, we know the Most High always deal with a process of time. The Most High never does nothing abruptly. Yeah. So you should never do nothing to brother. Right. Because most I don't operate like that. Right. So after that land is destroyed and it goes through its, its resting period, then it's going to be built back up. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to be radiated with, with radiation, man. Yeah. Well, I can't get Notice I'm not giving you a time period because I can't give you a fucking time period. No man knows the time. Oh. Nobody knows the how long it's going to take, but just know it's going to be a, 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 a great effort on the part of you other nations. Right. Like the scriptures say, um, they shall sever out men for continual employment. That's right. And seven years they shall go uh, burying the body, so on and so forth. That seven years, that don't mean the actual uh, number seven. Right. You know what I'm saying? That means a complete amount of time until until the job is finished. Right, right. Until the job is done. The job is done. You know what I'm saying? 
Get um, Isaiah 60. Okay. 60 verse 10. This is Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. My son is being it this. reads, it says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. Right, so it says the sons of that fact. Who who is it? It says, read that again. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Yeah, that's that's beautiful, man, because that's the time we're coming into, man. We're coming into the time of our people ruling, and you are the nations being in servitude unto us, man. So it says the sons of strangers shall build up our walls. Similar to the way America was established, man. How our sons, okay, built up this American infrastructure, man. Okay? How America was uh, at its greatest height when our people were in captivity. You see what I'm saying? You heathen nations are going to build up our society, man. Build up our kingdom. Pave those streets with gold and whatnot, man. And yeah, polish it so like so clean uh, that you can see your face in the gold, man. I never been asked about yeah. it. says, and their kings shall minister unto thee. And their kings shall minister unto us, man. Okay? In other words, we're gonna put you all the nations in subjection. That's all according to the Lord's will. See, right now it's not. That's the prophecies in the Bible. Okay? But in my wrath, I smote thee. Right, for in the Lord's wrath, he smote us, meaning what? We went into captivity, and that was the Lord's doing. All right? There shouldn't be no question of why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives went into captivity. Only when February come around, you want to remember you went into fucking slavery. All right? Okay. But in my favor, have I had mercy on thee. The Lord is the one that puts you into captivity, and the Lord's man, he's going to have mercy on us, man. And the mercy is starting now by bringing us back closer to the Father, by teaching his word. Us being out here on the street corners teaching his gospel is a part of the Lord's mercy being showed upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? But they don't want the mercies of the Heavenly Father. That's why when the Lord start letting loose on his place, then you people are going to start running for the prophets, man. Oh, oh, where are those guys at? You know? Where they at that was teaching the Bible, man? We're telling you everything that's going to happen before it happens. Okay? It says, Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. And that's talking about in the kingdom, man. Because ain't nobody bringing nothing to you so-called Negroes right now, man. All right? For the, mean, for the time being, you still got Section 8 and, and uh, uh, welfare and whatnot. So you might still be getting those benefits. But you ain't got the gates open now, man. The gates are open for Esau right now. That's why before you see a check, they tax the shit out of you, man. All right? Yeah, brother. It says, it says, they shall not be shut day nor night. They shall not be shut day nor night. So the nations are gonna constantly bring us their substance, man. Their riches, as far as livestock, precious stones, fabrics, uh, uh, odors, incense, their daughters, okay? okay? It says that men may bring onto thee the forces of the Gentiles. The forces of the Gentiles are talking about their riches. So needless to say, you so-called Negroes and Native Americans and Latinos are not going to have to deal with poverty anymore in the kingdom of heaven. All right? All that paycheck to paycheck living, that's going to be out the window, man. It's going to be time for our enemies to feel, you know what I'm saying, the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Yeah, brother. It says, and that their kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom. Right, and that their kings may be brought. All right? And they're not going to be brought in a kingly uh, state. All right? They're going to be brought in chains. All right? Just as our kings went into captivity with us, your kings are going to go into captivity with you commoners as well, man. You see what I'm saying? Okay? For the nation and kingdom 
that will not serve thee right. So these nations, they gonna have a, they ain't really gonna have a choice pretty much, man. They not even gonna have a choice. Okay? Okay? It says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Shall perish. In other words, they're gonna be destroyed. And we're gonna have all the power in the world to do it, man. Because the Heavenly Father's gonna give us power from on high. We're gonna rule on this earth as gods, man. Give me that in Psalms. It reads on, it says, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. So all this equality bullshit. I seen, a, I seen a, uh, an article the other day, you had Negroes holding hands and whatnot, man. Having a so-called peaceful rally, man. Nah, man. The Heavenly Father is going to give us that godlike power to reign on this earth in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a superior position than all you other nations, man. And that's how it was meant to be in the beginning. A hierarchy and you have the serfs up under you, man. And that's what's going to happen, man. And none of this madness is going to happen in the kingdom, man. That's not going to happen in our kingdom, man. Okay? Because there's constantly going to be examples of heads rolling, all right? People being burnt, okay? People being fucking destroyed, man. All right? Judgment is constantly going to be coming down in the kingdom, man. The judgment is going to be swift, man, in the kingdom. Okay? We're not going to, we ain't going to be waiting all the, like the Heavenly Father waiting to judge you. Because we're going to be set up on earth in that position. And exactly, when you move and do some wickedness that's worthy of death, we're going to move on that judgment, man. Okay? And that's going to set the tone and the example for you other nations and you other wicked ass people not to do that wickedness, man. You understand? You had a nigga walking with a goddamn Edomite, man. Faggots, two homosexuals, man. Yeah, brother. This is Proverbs chapter 2, verse 22. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, man. All right? So all you people that are uh, engaging in all kind of wicked activities, hell, you may be you may be considered a nice guy in this society. But here it is, you a goddamn Muslim or something like that. Or a Buddhist or something like that. All right? Or you may be up in a goddamn Christian church. The Most High is going to put your ass out, man. He's going to extinguish your flame. Dead. You flaming homo. Dead. And the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. And the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. You know when you got a tree, you can cut a tree down and the stump still remains. Guess what? That tree could grow back. Now the Lord said he's going to root it out. Meaning what? It's not going to come back. Meaning what? That your children's children's children are going to be destroyed, man. All right? The so-called white race, after a period of a thousand years, they're going to be genocided, man. Okay? Yeah, brother. This is, this is Amos chapter 1, verse 11. Right? Thus saith the Lord, for, tr for three transgressions of Edom and for four... Right, and this is what the Lord said. For three transgressions of Edom and for four... Okay? I will not turn away the punishment thereof. And that's the thing. You so-called white people constantly running from your judgment. You want to do anything to avoid judgment, man. You want to do anything on, in, your, in your power to avoid your judgment. You can't avoid the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And it's coming. All right? It's a long time coming, man. And when it hits you, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks, so to speak, man. Them devils ain't going to be able to deal with that punishment, man. Okay? They will. They will and you can see how they act right now. In, in their kingdom, when, when something happens to them, they don't know how to react. Most of them, they go and kill themselves. They commit suicide, man, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a mass scale, man. You know? So just imagine when all hell is, is put on them. You know, when they're in slavery, man. You know? Read on, it says, because he did pursue his brother 
with the sword. Because he's there with you and brother. All this madness ain't gonna take place, man, in the kingdom, man. He said what? Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Unbeknownst to a lot of you people, the so-called black man and the so-called white man come from the same father and mother. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Goes back to the fathers of the promise, right? Abraham had who? Had Isaac and Ishmael. And then Ishmael had Salak and uh, uh, Isaac had who? Jacob and Esau, man. Okay? When you go into Genesis, the 25th chapter, it tells you that. All right? How about, about how two nations were in her womb. And those are the two significant nations, if I if I if I coin it like that, okay? Because the so-called white man is the complete opposite to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, man. All right. So you're dealing with the righteous and you're dealing with the wicked. All right. Can I read that again? It says. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Right, so we were brothers at one point. Going way back, way back when. Well, like the scripture said, that the so-called white man did what? He broke the brotherly covenant, man. Okay? And that's what you did. You broke that brotherly covenant. The scripture said you did pursue your brother with the sword. All right? Good. It says, and did cast off all pity. And did cast off all pity. Some of the things you read about what the so-called white man was doing to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives are so heinous, it'll make you cringe up to this very day, hundreds of years later. It'll still make you cringe. You see what I'm saying? The Lord said they, they furthered the affliction. They furthered the, they furthered the affliction. Like when you read about this whole buck-breaking madness, yeah, man, yeah. that Esau was doing. Yeah. That stuff will make you cringe to this very day. The scripture said he cast it off all pity. And Apostle Tahar, he just posted a video earlier. They had a, 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 a leather jacket made out of human human flesh, man. That that went back to slavery, man, and it's still being sold to this day. So you know? called black, so called black man's flesh, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it said, and his anger did tear perpetually. And his anger did tear perpetually. Why? Because the Heavenly Father chose not to give you that birthright. Like the scripture said, it really didn't belong to you in the first place, man. Right. You had the illusion of the uh, birthright belonging to you. Right. Which is how, showing you how much more the Heavenly Father hates you. That's like a cruel <laughs> joke. It is. It's like an evil, like a cruel joke you play on somebody that you really hate. Yes. To make them think they're going to get like... Like a, a, a great blessing and just shit on them, shit on them at the end. Yeah. And the Heavenly Father shows you how much he really hates you devils yeah. by letting you be born first and you really, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the blessing. Right. 18 years. And you think you're gonna get the goddamn blessing <laughs> and all of a sudden you find out that you're, you, it, was, it wasn't for you in the first place, yeah. man. That's why he cried bitterly. Cried crying bitterly. Like cried a, bitterly. Crying bitterly, man. Is there a blessing for me? Oh, just yeah. one? And that's just the time the so-called black woman was on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his mother's the one that came and said, look, hurry up. Yeah. Put this on. His mother's the one that helped Jacob right. get that blessing. Uh -huh. and of course, his mother his mother wasn't as old as his father because back in them days, you ain't marry a woman your same age or right. something like that. Yeah, yeah. He, got, he got her. <laughs> young, and he got, young girl. And he was 40 years old. Yeah. Young girl. When they, when they started with young yeah, so You imagine, years. you with that woman for 20 years, you know what I'm saying? How old are you? 80 years old? Like 60, 60, 60 years old. Yeah, 60 years. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, what, 18? And she was young. She you know was happy. Yeah. <laughs> she was happy. Yes. And guess what? She was provided for, so on and so forth. Yeah. But guess what? The Heavenly Father put the Spirit on her to, to, uh, to uh, be with uh, Jacob, to tell Jacob what to do, right. to get that blessing. Which, that's how the Heavenly Father set it up. Yeah. And going to show you that back then, Oh, we can shut down. Hey, hey, with that, man, we gonna we gonna be, you know, be back out here later on. Go, we'll, go, we'll next week. Giving all praise to you. How are you? Shout out to the elect.